Mariana Trench is the deepest place existing on earth. The depth of the Mariana Trench is significantly greater than the height of Mount Everest. The trench is over 36,000 feet deep whereas Everest is just over 29,000 feet tall. The sunlight fails to penetrate at such a depth and hence the ocean floor is the darkest place on the earth. The water pressure at this depth is also extreme. With such extremities, the Mariana Trench remains unexplored to human beings. We have only been able to reach a depth of 32,000 feet and found out some extraordinary creatures surviving such extreme climatic conditions. In today's video, we will learn about the latest discovered creatures existing in the deepest and the darkest place of this earth. On number one spot, we have the goblin shark. The goblin shark has a shovel-like snout, flabby body and a tail with a weakly developed lower lobe. One of the distinctive features of the goblin shark is its protrusible mouth. The mouth can retract to a position under the eye or extend forward under the snout. When feeding, the goblin shark extends its jaws forward faster than any other species of shark. It preys on the bony fishes, squids and crustaceans. The underside of the snout is heavily poured. This force are the external openings of the ampulla of Lorenzini, the electricity detecting organs. The goblin shark most likely hunts its prey by detecting electric fields. On number 2, we have Black Sea Devil. One of the several anglerfish families, Black Sea Devil are named for their appearance and typically pitch black skin. Black Sea Devils are characterized by a gelatinous, mostly scaleless body, a large head with menacingly large, sharp, glassy, fang-like teeth lining the jaws of their mouth. The teeth are present only in females. Like other anglerfishes, black sea devils possesses an Elysium ananesca, with Elysium being modified dorsal spine also known as the fishing rod and the esca being the bulbous bioluminescent fishing lure. The bioluminescence is produced by symbiotic bacteria. This bioluminescence is used to attract their partners and also their prey, which includes crustaceans and small fish such as lanternfish and bristlemouths. The sea devil's highly extensible stomach also allows them to swallow prey larger than themselves, which is an important adaptation to life surviving at such greater depths. Number 3. Deep Sea Dragonfish Measuring just 15 cm in length, the dragonfish has an enormous jaw relative to their size, capable of extending and opening beyond the abilities of a conventional jaw. It is also lined with dozens of fang-like teeth sharper than those found in a piranha. To keep their prey in the dark, the teeth of the dragonfish have evolved a transparent structure that essentially makes their fearsome mouth invisible. Dragonfish have small photopores that generate light for attracting prey, but with such big teeth, they would risk giving the game away if their spiky gnashes reflected that light. Research has shown that they have evolved transparent teeth to overcome this, meaning they are both excellent predators and master hiders. Holding the number 4 spot, we have Dumbo Octopus. Often called the cutest octopus in the world, the Dumbo octopus has fins on its mantle that looks like the huge ears of Dumbo, the elephant. The deepest living of all octopuses, the Dumbo moves about the deep ocean by flapping ear-like fins as they use their arms to steer. They have adapted to the poor dating scene of deep sea life by becoming the ultimate opportunist 
as females will carry eggs in different stages of development. This means, should they cross a male, they are good to go and can hold on to the sperm until the environmental conditions are most favorable for producing offsprings. Dumbo octopuses pounces on prey and eats it whole. Their diet includes coprods, isopods, bristleworms, and amphipods. Much of the food they consume is also found around the ocean vent ecosystem or floating along in the current. Number 5. Barrel eye. This is also the last one we have for this video. Found at the depths most lights can't reach, these truly bizarre animals are equipped with a see-through head, allowing their eyes to effectively look out of the sunroof as they navigate the pitch black waters. The barrel eyes, eyes aren't those two indentations you see in the conventional eye position but are actually the glowy green balls sitting slightly further back. The circles at the front are olfactory organs that can smell chemical cues in the water. The function of the eye's strange positioning is to spy prey above them, which they will sometimes steal from the dangling tentacles of siphonophores. As ultra-sensitive tubular eyes, they are incredibly well adapted for spotting the silhotes of edible animals against the minimum amount of light that travels to such depths. At one point, it was thought that the barrel eyes' eyes were fixed and they constantly stare at the sky, but it's since been established that they can roll to face forwards when eating. The green pigments in its eyes may filter out the sunlight coming directly from the sea surface, helping the barrel eyes spot the bioluminescent glow of jellies or other animals directly overhead. In addition to their amazing headgear, barrel eyes have a variety of other interesting adaptations to deep sea life. Their large, flat fins allows them to remain nearly motionless in the water. Their small mouth suggests that they can be very precise and selective in capturing small prey. On the other hand, their digestive systems are very large, which suggests that they can eat a variety of small drifting animals as well as jellies. In fact, the stomach of the two net caught fish contained fragments of jellies. While there has been other sea creatures discovered over the last few years, we will be back with another episode of Deep Sea Creatures of the Deepest and Darkest Place on Earth. Like, subscribe and follow for more.